Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Remember that whole spiel of me saying, oh, the secret passage is over on the left side of the wall, not the right side? Well, guess where I found the secret passage? Yeah. On the right side of the wall. I was wrong the whole time! How about that? Oh my god! Also, I forgot to mention that I did get the Apollo card from the uh, Archdemons off camera. Basically, what you have to do is like a full, like a half circle down, forward, wherever you're facing. And then as soon as you get to up, you gotta press the uh, attack button. Allow me to observe with Apollo and Salamander. If you make like a smooth motion, you won't be uh, using uh, like any of your hearts or anything. You'll just be using your magic. And that gives you like a thrown weapon such as a bomb, an ice ball, a rose, yep, a rose, like the tuxedo mask. A stalactite, which is actually a bunch of spears, so I don't know how Konami got to that. A comet, poisonous bomb, tornado, and a lightning ball. Yeah, so if you get Apollo, you're basically using different kinds of ranged weapons. But I don't really care about that, because that's a bit hard to set up. Even though they are pretty powerful. And they are pretty nice if you're taking out a boss, where luck doesn't really matter. So you might want to give Apollo a try, actually. Hopefully you got, like, good smooth motions with that. If not, then it's just not going to work for you. Also, I haven't really explored the rest of this pathway, so I really should do that. Don't push me back, thank you. You're a victim as well, Grizzly. You're gonna have, like, a grizzly fate, get it? Huh? <laughs> got you right in the shin. I think this is the room where I got the, uh, Apollo card. Nothing to do with, like, a Rocky Horse. Well, then again, I already made that joke. Grizzlies, like, they have a lot of health. They're so tall, but they move so slow. But they hit you so hard. Aw, oh, I want to get that heart. I still can, yay! Now let's explore the entirety of this room. God, lots of slowdown. I'm gonna have to take care of these mods. Also, I might want to take care of all this as well. That's right, I can use these as platforms. No, 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 don't go back! What am I doing? I could be doing this. Secret. Get my luck back up. Oh god, holy armors. Ah, too close, so he got me with that. I like how he just manages to, like, turn in the nick of time. Let me take care of you for the extra experience. Or not! Okay, you know, I'm just gonna be eating crow right there. Take a lot of damage, and I get no experience for that. So, that's pretty much how it works in my universe. <laughs> you get the worst of both worlds! Okay, I gotta stop. That's just hideous. Now, how am I gonna do this? There's two boxes exactly, and I need both of them in order to get through. So how am I gonna pull this off? Can I push this over here and make this work? No, because if I do that, then it's going to be flush against that wall. Okay, so we got to think of another strategy. Maybe I can probably... Uh, how am I going to make this work? I'll probably have to get rid of this somehow. Let's try this. Whoever thought, like, just, like, static blocks would cause slowdown. this. Then, you know what? I think we got it. We gotta push this all the way down. Wait, if I do that... Eh. Okay, now I've made, made things a little bit more complicated. Well, not necessarily. I'm Look at that! How is that still standing there? There. I made this sound a little bit more complicated than it really needed to be. 
there. <laughs> like, it doesn't really tip over anything because, you know, physics and weight balance. No, it just stays perfect. How about that? What is this room? I saw a bunch of clocks and stuff. Okay, this can scare the living scare the living crap out of me. There's like so many holy armors. Can they actually fall down or anything? Like green Koopas? Or do they just go back? I oh, guess we'll never know because I actually turn around. No, they keep walking, yet they don't fall. Okay. Like, there's an invisible wall keeping them from, like, descending. That's hilarious. Kinda expected, like, holy water to do very little damage to them. Because they are holy armors, after all. I don't think there's any other secret to find here. If anything, I'm probably just gonna get an upgrade at the end of this room. Like a health upgrade. That actually makes me feel good. So it is a good thing that I ended the episode previously and then returned. Ooh, I can get a heart upgrade too. Can I get that heart upgrade? I don't know if I can. But I'm sure as hell gonna try. No, I can't. Like, even if I try, I won't be able to get up there effectively. So, I'll have to remember to come back here later. But, knowing my luck, I'm, I might just forget. So, well, I filled in that part of the map, so I'm guessing I got everything. No, you didn't. Oh, because we cleared the puzzle, now the holy armors are there. Well then, I guess I feel so bad for clearing that puzzle. Like, these holy armors couldn't just figure this out, so I'm like, Oh, thank God this douchebag actually solved the puzzle for us, and so now we can kill him. I was like, yeah, much appreciated, Holy Armors. I like getting killed, said no one ever. That has a lot to live for, at least. But anyways, I'm not here to discuss that. That ceiling was a bit higher. I could have just jumped over that grizzly. Oh, I can still jump over this one. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Jump over both! Is I evil can evil? Oh my god! <laughs> he jumped over two animals! I don't really know if the Archdemon can be considered an animal, but it, it looks like a beastly creature, so let's just go with that. Oh, Succubus almost got me. Well, he did! She did get me there. Well, I don't have to solve this puzzle anymore. So, I mean, that's good. The good thing about these uh, block puzzles is if you solve them, you don't have to worry about them again. Still gotta worry with these enemies, like the uh, forest armors. They're actually not that bad. I mean, you can duck under the vines. If you're too far, however, you will still get hit. And I did get a chainmail off camera from them when I was doing a little bit of training. It's not that great. I'll drop my intelligence substantially. I don't really need the defense that badly. Personally, I think I'd rather keep my intelligence high rather than just get armor for lots of defense. Got like combinations that are there for defense if I need it. What's my experience at anyway? 5,561. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I say I'll be close to a level up. Oh, the boss is here. Who are we fighting? Ah, Death! Oh yeah, he's a trademark uh, Castlevania villain. Why do I have this combination still on? Actually, let me see if I can actually get this to work. Oh god, that does little damage. Uh, let, let's go with the uh, damage this time. Oh god. Good thing I was able to dodge that. I mean, I can't be surprised that I'm dodging Death's attacks. He... He looks a little bit fat. Like he devoured a lot of American souls, you know what I mean? And it's all gotten to his thighs and even his robe. He 
doesn't even seem all that animated either. He's like, oh, that's 69. Well, I'm just gonna fly around and let my sides do all the work. God, I feel out of breath if I actually had lungs. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, disable that for now. Because he's invincible until the second phase. And he turns into, a, like, an arthropod. Well, he looks less obese, which is good. Wait, am I slow now? Oh, you know what it was? I think it was, like, when he had that Eldritch going. Like, that little glyph that was right in front of him? That might be what caused me to slow down substantially. I don't know if that's uh, what you get for looking at him directly, but... Yep, there it is, right there. I can see that. I noticed I didn't start slowing down until that showed up. Uh, let's see. Let me try something different. Maybe I can try... Uh, Mercury and Golem? Doesn't really seem all that damaging. Oh, apparently just quaking down hurts me. Alright, well, maybe that's not gonna work. Mm, maybe Apollo and Golem. Oh, didn't get the attack right. Apparently, you have to be super close for it to work. And if you get too close to death, he'll use a scythe attack on you. So I think we're just better off going with offense. I saw him about to, like, drop down, but I couldn't really get up in time. Oh! Doesn't matter. Death is dead. Wait, did I get two level ups from that? Hey, <laughs> you into the abyss with you. I'll come with you. Yeah, apparently, I cannot get absorbed into the avoid. <laughs> Nice paintings, though. The cleansing. There. Cleanse specific bodies of water so that they are safe to traverse. Ah, nice. Wait. Yep, there's actually a secret room in there. Just a regular golem. Looks pretty strong, though. I don't know if it can really hurt me too much. Oh. He's still hanging on. He's motivated. He doesn't want to stop. What's my experience at? 28,367. Uh, it's just a little under 2,000 I get from him. So we get ourselves an HP upgrade. That's great for us. So, why don't we go leave this area? Head right this time. I might actually want to save first. Because I don't want to have a little mishap where I, you know, die and then have to fight death again. I can't believe I got two level ups from that. Unless they're carrying over the experience from the first phase and the second phase. Only logical explanation I know. Either that or a wizard did it. Yeah, like a wizard hacked into my legal GBA and just decided to give me, hey, you know what? You're gonna get the, an extra level up from that. Because, you know, it's close to your birthday. It actually is, by the way. Alrighty then, what's my max hearts at? 250? Yeah, that's actually pretty solid. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't think there'd be, like, two of these. Guess I should know better. Woo! That whip still could have got me. I think a vampire killer getting hit by whip. The irony of that. Forest armor, use vine whip. It's not very effective. Oh god, trees. To dryad. And actual golems are here as well. It's gonna be annoying. I don't even think golems even attack you unless you get super close. So what do you do that's so special? I should really take out that dryad first. It's not even that strong, like, 
three or four hits and it's dead? Well, this guy gave up. Look. He's not even moving anymore. There. Now he's dead. And I feel no shame whatsoever. What? It shouldn't have been there. Oh my god, another one of these things. I gotta remember, like, head back to that uh, underground passage so I can go fight some man-eaters again. Remember, I still need to get that Diana card. It's taking a while still to kill golems. I know, I really should be boosting my offense, but I find luck is good. Who knows, I might get some from these guys. No, I don't, I don't want an axe. I can slide over there, but that actually takes me to the very beginning. I actually don't want to do that yet. First, let me grab this health upgrade. Can you imagine how bad it would, would be if I actually, like, left the health upgrade by accident? And then I had to go around all this way back. <laughs> I'd never be able to hear the end of it to myself. Huh, nice of you to greet me. Now, where else can I go? I think I'm gonna take that warp and check out that area to the left. But why am I going this way? Oh god! Grizzlies are here now! And Arachnas! I like my women topless, but not like a uh, half spiders spewing webs at me. Like a freaking Spider Man. Oh my god. They got really tough enemies in here, too. I was, I was caught off guard by that, I'm not gonna lie. But I think you already knew that, judging by my reaction. Oh. Man, is there gonna be new enemies in here, too? I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Oh. Hang on. Okay, I decided to just cut ahead over here on this spot in the map because there was one of those heavy crates. Now let's actually push in and see what our reward is. I really hope it's a health upgrade, but a heart upgrade is no big deal either. Not really big on magic upgrades, though they are nice. Actually, I'll be content with anything, so yeah, got myself a health upgrade. Still can't make it all the way up here yet, like, you know, in the upper left. However, we can deal with that later. So, what I should do is actually um, backtrack over to where the statue was. So, why don't you just give me a couple minutes to get there? Okay, I made it back to that statue, so now that we got the cleansing ability, watch what happens. The water just turns back to normal, even though it seems more blue than it should be, but that's just me. Okay, so we got frozen shades to deal with this time. Basically the icier versions of the heat shades. So yeah, we got tougher enemies to deal with this time. Whoa! Mermen everywhere! Look! 8194, so if I kill two... Yeah, you only get like 10 experience per kill on these guys. So it's not worth just trying to farm for experience against them. Because they give you so little compared to the other enemies you can face here. Oh, it looks like a mini narwhal. Spearfish is what it's called. So I'm at 8174. Nah, maybe like uh, somewhere around like less than 200, give or take. I'm not gonna bother with math. Oh god. Here's a new one. I mean, it's an ice armor. If you're lucky, you'll get the Neptune card from them. I don't wanna hit that switch yet. So let me just do all my exploring from here. I like to throw like two javelins, one high and one low. So there you go. Looks like I do have to hit that switch, otherwise, I can't get anywhere. Get used to this, we'll be doing it quite a bit here. And look, we gotta do it again! Just to bring the platforms back. I say we'll go until we find a save point. If 
I remember correctly, I think this could be one of the areas... Damn it. One of the areas that can actually have a secret room in the ceiling. Uh, I don't want to kill that ice armor, because what if it drops the card and I can't reach it? That'll be like the middle finger of the sentry. Now, I think I should do this. And then I can deal with the uh, ice armors. I think I can. Or unless they're going to keep me from getting there. Yeah, it's going to keep me from getting there. So let me go find another switch. Oh, this is going to be one big puzzle all by itself. Now, are you going to drop the Neptune card for me? Yes, that would be nice. Whoa, God, there was two of those javelins. There we go. They pretty much just throw these javelins like, you know, what you see in Sailor Moon. Like those big pointy things, those crystals. There. That, that's not going to help me, but still. It's sustaining me. That much I will say. How big is this room? I decided to go with the axe instead of my, uh, holy water. You know, just to give it a little change. Good thing it doesn't just taint change direction automatically. <laughs> that would've sucked. I usually just wait till the javelin is fully formed and then you can jump over it. So we gotta level up, that's great for us. Especially me. Well, I can now make it to the right. But I feel like there's so much I missed. It's like, how come I couldn't get to those other enemies? Wait, I don't think I've been up here. Oh, there. Come on, I got my luck as high as I'd like it to. Oop, another secret. Poison shades. Another one, there. Now I got more magic. Yeah. I know this sound effect sounds annoying, but I'm just gonna wait till I kill this guy. There. Hmm. There, finally got the double jump to work the way I wanted to. Well, this doesn't look necessary, I hope. So let me get this set up on. Uh oh. Please do not knock me around. At least let me get this first. Oh, I got frozen. And I believe when you're frozen, you actually take more damage. So, there we go. At least we got a good secret. We got another health upgrade. Now, where are we going to find our next save point? Should be around here, I believe. Like, you can't get under these. But how else are you supposed to get there? Ooh, got a steel armor. Again, I won't probably equip it unless I have to. Because I'd rather focus on my magic at this point. I'm one of you has got to drop the card for me. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to get this one off camera. Yeah, down. He just managed to pick me off. He still looks the other way. What an idiot. I guess that's leading me to believe that these armors are actually controlled by the armor itself and not anyone in them. That's just a little theory. Oh, magic gauntlets. I already got plenty of those early in the game. So they're no good to me now. Unless there were, like, upgraded versions of them. Abion Dark? The hell kind of name is that? It has to, like, come from some kind of, like, 
maybe Eastern European lore. Because I doubt anyone just put a bunch of letters together and said, we're going to call it that. You know, it's not like the uh, manatees that make Family Guy episodes that you heard about in South Park. Oh, no, oh, just got me perfectly. You gotta keep, like, pressing buttons to get out of there. No, I got back in frozen mode. I mean, look at this. The mermen are just keeping me in place. I... Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous at this point. Really? How hard does it take to kill a, like, a freaking... Well, at least I got her dead. Mermen are actually piling on way too fast. It's gonna take me a while to find a save point. I do apologize for this part getting a bit lengthy. Well, I know, I found a save point just before I got here, but still. I mean a save point for this general area. She's gotta die, I'm sorry. Actually, who am I apologizing for? I thought you guys were gonna get mad that I killed an enemy that's actively trying to hurt me. I don't think anybody would be like that, are they? Nah. Oh, no secret on this wall. Oh yeah, the axe can actually stop those uh, ice blocks from hitting me. Good thing I replaced it with the replaced the holy water. Hmm, doesn't seem like my whip does an effective job at clearing them. I think a secret's around here. Well, if not, not the end of the world. It's not like I can get up there anyway. Not yet, at least. Let's try this. Oh, wow! I thought I had a good thing going on. It's like, nope, we were actually from underneath, too. There, that'll simplify things a little bit. Okay, this is a good spot. Yeah, that, that actually works really well against them. I have a feeling that, you know, next rooms will actually affect my backtracking. Oh, God. Um, I don't think all witches do that, like riding around on broomsticks. Seems like a very common stereotype and misconception. Yeah, go back to the um, Mortal Kombat moon in the pit stage. You along with Santa Claus. This is not a tough enemy. I still need to find a save point to save my life. Maybe I can find one of the lower parts? Yes, okay. This would be a good time to close the episode right here. Wow, almost like 30 minutes. Maybe it is at 30 minutes. So, in the next part, why don't we go and uh, continue on this little area? Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.